First, I'll demonstrate removing an old pad. Just using my, my dental pick here. And I stick it in between in this little hole here. I'm just going to flick it right out of there. I'm getting the pick under the plastic. And that's it. There's the old one. That one's not deteriorating so bad, so it didn't break. But right then, I'm going to set the new one in. I kind of get it. You'll see that this clear plastic part, the clear plastic part, not the capacitive side, goes down. And it's it's got to sit under these teeth in here right there if you can see that in the video right there it's going to sit under all of these teeth okay so I'm kind of slip it under one of them when I first put it in there but then I got to use this pick again let me get it in focus if I can and then let's do the first one. I'll just kind of do a motion like, kind of like that. And then this other, this one down here. Just pushing it down. And that one may not, it probably is already under there. Sometimes three will click. And then I kind of give it a twist. So we'll make sure it's in there all the way. And I'm a little test. Just lift up a little bit with the pick. Just to make sure it's not coming out. Because sometimes you don't have it under those teeth. And that's it. Be sure to put the board back on there and give it a little test after you get all the keys done. Make sure all the keys work before you put the keyboard back together. That's it.